Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Chef Kills for the People. We're going to do a quick double stuff empanada. I made this yesterday, the ground beef 80-20. Um, so I'm using that leftover from yesterday. This is what it looks like today. Um, I'll put the ingredients in the description below. I use jalapeno pepper, I use uh, sweet hot pepper, garlic, garlic powder, pink salt, adobo, I used sazon con achote, I used paprika, black pepper, and some, I keep calling it mojito, it's mojo, <laughs> that's what that, uh, that nice citrus sauce is, so... I'm going to go ahead and make these two empanadas. You'll see why I call it double stuff. The last empanada video I made, it was a regular half moon uh, shape empanada. And this one is going to be double stuff. So... I'm also going to add some sharp cheddar cheese and some jalapeno jack cheese. I'm gonna mix it up just a little bit, just like that, all right? So let me move this here to the side. And let me start spreading this empanada shell out. I love making these. It is so delicious and easy to make. Very easy. I say that on, uh, on every video I make because it is. It is. So, let me go ahead and get that spaced out a little bit flattened. Getting spread out. Like that. Okay. That's going to be the base. And this is going to be the top. Normally people just use one empanada shell. And then they kind of make it like a half moon. Like that. Not me. I'm different. Okay. So let me now stuff this. Just like that. Like you can't be stingy when you're making these. I used to hate going to the, some of these shops and ordering these. And, you know, you bite into it and it's 50% air, 50% meat. Instead of 100% meat or maybe 85% meat. You feel me? Right, so I threw that shredded cheddar because it makes it much better. I'm gonna throw this here cheese on top, and then let me knead this just a little bit more. Here we go. All right, and now I'm, I'm just going to cap it. Boom, like that. I'm gonna spread it out. Look at that, work of art. That's really good, if I do say so myself. Okay, now what we wanna do is we wanna bring it up, crimp. Fold, bring it up and crimp. Fold, bring it up and crimp. The same way. Repetition is the mother of learning or the father of learning. Here we go. And the reason why you crimp it is so that you don't get too much seepage out the seams or the side of the empanada. So it all stays in there. Really nice. So after you finish crimping it, it should look just like that. 
Just like that. Make sure I don't fall. That'd be embarrassing. Just like that. Okay? So that's one out the way. Turn that upside down. Just so it can settle. And now we're going to make another one. Let me get rid of this. Okay. Same process. No, nothing different. Okay. See? Same thing. I'm going to flip this back over. Okay, just like that. Now, same process. I'm gonna make this a mondo empanada, my boy. Mondo. Okay, got that there. Same process. See? Very simple. And this empanada, disc or dough, is pretty pliable. So it's easy to work with. Same technique. See? I wish I had some sweet dotones, some bananas. I would have added that in here too, made a puree out of it. You don't see too many designer empanadas like that. Not at all. Well, I haven't anyway. Turn that over. Okay. Now let's take this party to the stove top. We're gonna go ahead and put this in the pot here. Oil. Yep, it's ready, nice and hot. Now what I like doing, being I'm not deep frying them, I don't only I only have a little bit of oil in here. I'm going to temper the top of it. Just like that. And this is going to cook fast, by the way. Yep, so look at that. The bottom of it is already brown. Cooks very fast. And be careful because the oil is very hot. All right, this really looks delicious, delicious. Okay, I'm gonna take this out now. It's ready. Let it drain on the side of the pot for a little bit. Then I'm gonna rest it in a disposable aluminum tray with some paper towel in it to serve as uh, the drainage. On with the next one.
You see the technique I'm using? I'm just shoving it or pushing it lightly on the oil onto the top of the empanada. Please don't don't splash it. You're gonna burn yourself. Just take your time, be nice and careful. If you don't feel comfortable doing it that way, just let it sit just like this. And then you just turn it around and it'll do the same thing. I just like mine tempered so that I can see the bubble up on it. I'm gonna flip this over now. So look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. That is gorgeous. And as always, I just want to thank you all for your support. Jeff Kills for the people. Couldn't do it without you. So thank you very much. I'm going to turn this oil off as this empanada is done. All right. So let's cut this baby open and take a peek inside. Ha. See what I mean about it being full, 80% or fuller? Look at that. You can see the cheese, the 80-20 ground beef. Very nice, very nice. Okay, let's plate a little something here. I just also made the Spanish rice and beans too. Not too long ago, about maybe two hours ago, three hours ago. Let me throw that in here. Okay, that looks pretty good, if I don't say so myself. So there you have it, the double stuff empanada. You got some rice and beans. I even made some chicken stew. I'm gonna throw it out on a, in a bowl on the side and then I'm gonna sit back, relax and enjoy. Thank you for tuning in. God bless you and God bless America. Look at that. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much.